Audrey Puente has got a final look at our forecast. Hey, Audrey. Hi, Arthur. Well, a cold front is working through the region right now. It's going to shift our winds in from the northwest. That's going to allow some drier air and a cooler air mass to work into the area. We're dropping down to 63 in the city and some 50s in some of the suburbs. Tomorrow, we're going up to 80 degrees. That's a little bit below average for this time of year, but it will feel much drier with lower humidity. Watch out for some gusty winds. It'll be breezy tomorrow with temperatures, excuse me, wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Looking good for Tuesday and Wednesday. July 4th should be pretty decent with a chance of a late shower and then on Friday and Saturday that's when we'll see a greater threat of some afternoon storms. Arthur? All right, thanks Audrey. That's all we've got for the news. You are all caught up for the week. If you've missed any part of the 10 o'clock news you can always catch an encore on our free streaming at Fox Local. Just search Fox Local on your preferred streaming platform. Have a fantastic week and stay with us. Sports Extra with Tina Servacio starts right now. Coming up on Sports Extra, oh my God, Mets infielder Jose Iglesias and Latin pop star Candelita, who are the same person, join Sports Extra tonight as our special guest. We'll talk about the inspiration for writing the song, oh my God, that has become the Mets anthem and what it was like performing a song at City Field on Friday night after a win. Also, why it's become the team's rallying cry. Truly an amazing story when you know more about Iglesias' baseball journey. One minute the Yankees were worried Juan Soto could miss some time, but after one day off and some negative tests, Soto asked himself back into the Yankees lineup today just minutes before the game, and the slugger contributed big time in helping the Yanks to a needed win. Then we'll go from the diamond to the court as the New York Liberty continue to build on their best record in the WNBA, but today the Lakes needed a record-breaking comeback, and we'll show you the thrilling play down the stretch from Barclay Center. And then we'll take you to the pitch in New York New Jersey, where Gotham FC held their farewell match for the six players, yes, six players that are being called up to the women's national soccer team to represent the United States at the Summer Olympics. Our Jennifer Williams has their story from Gotham to Paris. And on this final night of June, why don't you savor these final warm, humid hours by taking in another edition of Sports Extra, which starts right now. Welcome to Sports Extra, presented by Toyota. Good evening. Hope you're having a great weekend, and we are so glad you are spending your Sunday night here with us. This is Sports Extra, presented by Toyota. I'm Tina Servacio. So at the start of this month, the New York Mets were 24 and 35. Coming into today's final game against the Houston Astros at Citi Field, the Mets were 40 and 40, right at 500, looking to win their sixth series in a row to finish off the month of June with a nice exclamation point after turning their season around pretty much in just one month's time. Now looking to bounce back from last night's loss due to the bullpen giving up the lead, well, the Mets got off to a slow start today in the heat and humidity, but the Mets did come all the way back from four Keep runs going. down to tie the game in the sixth inning thanks to a Brandon Nimmo two-run home run, his 100th homer of his career, tying the game at four. Now, after a long rain delay and into extra innings, the Mets trailed 5-4 in the tenth when Nimmo again comes through, doubling to right field to score Francisco Lindor and tie the game again. But the Astros, uh, they did a little something in the 11th inning, scoring five runs, and this is where they would win it. The big hit was a two-run double by Trey Cabbage. This was off Mets reliever Matt Festa, who was just called up today before the game. The Astros beat the Mets 10-5 to in 11 innings. That's the eighth time that the Mets have lost in extra innings this year, the most in the majors. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, um, you know, I was more excited about the spot. Um, but uh, when I found out that I'd kind of forgotten, honestly, that I was that I was one away. Um, and so, um, you know, when I found out, it definitely um, made it even sweeter. But, um, you know, to come up in that spot um, and be able to tie the game and give us a chance um, to try and win the game, um, it was pretty special. Well, there's no 